Um, I arrived with Captain Benunu, but as a death investigator, yes, I was working alone. When you arrived, there was a 25 foot perimeter around the body, correct? Right? Yes, and I was pleased to see that the security guard had set that up in order to try and maintain the pristine body condition. And as far as you know, everything was in order? As far as I could tell, yes, it was. And you identified the body as Lane Hamilton? Using his um, ID and eyewitnesses, yes. And you tagged him back with the pistol that you found next to Lane Hamilton's body? Yes. And it was at this point that you suspected that you had a homicide? Um, typically, yes. Gunshots. Yeah. Um, are typical of a uh, homicide, but nobody could be sure at that point, yes. This is because most people don't treat themselves in front of an audience, correct? Typically, no. And because people, uh, suicides usually involve only one gunshot? Again, typically, but every case is different. And there was two gunshots, right, in this place? In this I found two bullets, yes. And because suicide victims usually leave an out, right? Uh, I suppose that some scenes that I arrive at, there can be notes, but Objection, Your Honor. This is um, out of the scope of this. She's not an expert in suicide in general. She's purely an expert in investigating crime scenes and determining the form of death when they're not what might lead to suicide or why you might commit suicide. It's a long objection, Your Honor. Um, my opposing counsel has established um, Ms. McQuiggan um, as an expert in the area of crimes and investigating, uh, investigating, which means that she would have dealt with crimes and investigations numerous times, including suicides, which would make her an expert as to what she usually finds at suicide crime scenes. Um, I'm going to overrule the objection, but let's confine the cross-examination to her personal knowledge and her experience as a crime scene investigator. Okay. It's also at this point when you made the comment, when two people are present at a shooting, I wouldn't want to be the one standing when the police arrive, correct? Um, I'm sorry, Counselor, I never got the opportunity to finish my answer to your last question. May I continue? Sure. Um, well, as I was saying, the suicide notes are typically found um, in about one-third or 33% of every of every suicide case that I've worked on, meaning over half don't leave a note, so it's not necessarily a necessity in order to <coughs> never take that into account as to whether it's a suicide or homicide. Now, it was at this point when you made when two people are present at a shooting, I wouldn't want to be the one standing when the police arrived, correct? Well, Regan Thomas had come up to me and said that it looked like Walton's halo had gotten a little rust on it. My job can be pretty morbid, so in the same joking manner, I retorted something to that effect. But you said that statement, correct? After I said that, or before I said that the, the my official word was that the investigation was preliminary. Yes, I did. But, so you said that statement before you said the investigation was ongoing? Yes, I did. And since the investigation was <coughs> ongoing, you performed some tests, correct? Oh, of course, yes. You performed a GSR test? Yes, I did. A ballistics test? Yes. Examined fingerprints? Yes, I did. And then you attended the autopsy, correct? And looked at a subsequent report. I did all of those, yes. And you came to your conclusion after you examined your test results, the fingerprints, and the autopsy? Correct. Yes, it's imperative that I don't look at one test in isolation. I have to look at all of my tests in a, in a collaborative setting in order to maintain any kind of credibility in my work. And you concluded that it was most likely a suicide, correct? Yes, I did. And you also concluded that there is a possibility that it could have still been a homicide, correct? Slight possibility. I am not convinced of it at all. So your conclusions changed throughout your investigation, correct? After performing testing, of course. Initially, you thought it was a homicide. Initially. And after you thought it was most likely a suicide, correct? Well, after I com I confirmed my scientific test, test excuse me, my scientific testing, I couldn't come to any other conclusion. And this wasn't until the following day that you came to this conclusion, correct? I was working throughout the night. 